हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू डू यू नो अबाउट स्क्रब टाइफिस इफ योर आंसर इज नो यू शुड कंसिडर वॉचिंग द होल वीडियो आई एम डॉक्टर अभिषेक कुमार सैनी शेयरिंग शेयरिंग वीडियोज ऑन वेरियस डिसीजेस विच आर प्रिवेंटेबल और सम हाउ दे आर कॉम्प्लिकेशन आर प्रिवेंटेबल so for knowing about those diseases you can check out my previous videos and consider subscribing my channel if you are new to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can stay connected i will be discussing this topic under few headings like defining the disease then talking about its cause then its pathophysiology its clinical features diagnosis treatment and prevention scrub typhus is a acute febrile illness which is caused by orientia tsutsugamushi which is carried by a mite pathophysiology mite usually feeds on human secretions and if mite is infected it may lead to inoculation of that organism into our skin which leads to inflammatory response and which leads to formation of a papule and ulceration can occur later on necrosis occur and then ischker is formed which is a collection of dead cells what all clinical features the patient may be having its incubation period is around 6 to 21 days so it takes around 8 to 10 days for a patient to have symptoms of scrub typhus what are the symptoms patient may have fever cough gi symptoms like nausea vomiting rash which is a diffuse macular rash which first start on trunk all right signs like regional lymphadenopathy splenomegaly raised temperature now how can we diagnose it for diagnosis it needs physical examination and some investigation physical examination we can find splenomegaly raised temperature regional lymphadenopathy bite mark presence of ischka and investigations like cbc cbc will show lymphopenia in the early phase and lymphocytosis later on decreased platelet count serum albumin which will be decreased chest x-ray which may show signs of pneumonitis other investigations like indirect fluorescent antibody test and indirect immunoperoxidase test both are positive and lastly we can go for polymerase chain reaction test and for treatment we have various drugs like doxycycline dosage is 100 mg bd yani twice a day dose for 7 days azithromycin 500 mg od dose yani once a day dose for 3 days and chloramphenicol 500 mg four times a day for 7 to 15 days now how can we prevent it for prevention we can wear protective clothing using proper insect repellents in our houses or where we work lastly we have pre exposure and post exposure prophylaxis for the patient if they want to travel in a place where the outbreak is going on and lastly i would like to inform if patient wants 
suffered from the disease, he develops immunity, but it only stays for up to one or three years. After that, that immunity wanes off. So, if you like the content of my, content of my video, you can consider subscribing my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you so much. If you love the video, you can like this video too. And do watch my previous videos on various topics. Thank you so much.